In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some strangeness with OpenGL when it comes to running IOQuake 3 on the XVR4000 graphics accelerator. I've got the CPU monitor open on the right hand bottom side of the screen just so that the system performance can be monitored throughout. And I'm going to go ahead and start the game. I'm quickly going to go into the setup again to show you I've got the GL driver as the default driver, GL extensions are on, I'm now running it at 1024x768, the color depth is 32 bits, full screen is on, the lighting is vertex lighting, geometric detail is high, the texture detail is the highest it can be, the texture quality is default and the texture filter is bilinear. So I'm quickly going to start the game. Okay, I'm now running it in a higher resolution than I was originally. The, in the first video I was running it at 800 by 600. And I'm now running it at 1024 by 768. And I'm also getting a higher frame rate this time. It's still not quite as high as the frame rate I was getting from the Tezro, but the performance is definitely better than the performance I was getting before. Okay, I'm quickly gonna mess around with some of the settings. I'm now going to turn vertex lighting to light map. And now you immediately see that I'm starting to get the same problems that I showed in the other video with OpenGL. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch GL extensions off. And now you get the system running again. So it's running perfectly now, just at a reduced frame rate. But it seems that with this graphics card at the moment, I can't run it with light map with the OpenGL extensions on. Okay, so the frame rate is reduced quite radically, but the quality of the output seems to have improved a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go back into setup. Switch it back to vertex. And switch the GL extensions on. And immediately you get improved performance. So this is a rather interesting problem that I'm going to have to try and sort out with this card. Okay, I'm going to quit the game. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the video to be informative.